Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for February 2nd. Today's devotion is titled, A Humble Posture, and the Bible reading is from Psalm chapter 16. Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. I say of the holy people who are in the land, they are the noble ones in whom is all my delight. Those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. I will not pour out libations of blood to such gods or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see decay. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Keep your hands behind your back. You'll be fine. That's the loving admonition Jan's husband always gave before she ventured off to speak to a group. When she found herself trying to impress people or seeking to control a situation, she'd adopt this posture because it put her in a teachable, listening frame of mind. She used it to remind herself to love those before her and to be humble and available to the Holy Spirit. Jan's understanding of humility is rooted in King David's observation that everything comes from God. David said to God, You are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. He learned to trust God and seek his counsel. Even at night, my heart instructs me. He knew that with God next to him, he's not to be shaken. He didn't need to puff himself up because he trusted in the mighty God who loved him. As we look to God each day, asking him to help us when we feel frustrated or to give us words to speak when we feel tongue-tied, we'll see him at work in our lives. We'll partner with God, as Jan says, and we'll realize that if we've done well, it's because God has helped us flourish. We can look at others with love, our hands clasped behind our backs in a posture of humility to remind us that everything we have comes from God. How do you feel when you place yourself in a humble posture before someone else? How could you depend on God to help you with the tasks before you today? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.